Hey, what's going on, guys? This is B from Kongs R Us, and welcome to the next level. This is my weekly podcast show where I bring you next level guests, projects, community things. And for this week, I had something really awesome planned. I was going to be working on my pinball mod,、um, but I had a little bit of snafu. I've been secretly working on adding solenoids to my Legends pinball machine,、um, but I had a, a little technical difficulty. But I will get back to it hopefully by next week and continue some mod modding, modding sessions. I did add sol- surround sound feedback earlier. On Monday, I did it live. It was fantastic, and so now it super rocks and cranks the house down. And so I tweaked all the settings. I know I was getting the exciters working, and thank you all for joining me earlier this week. But I love doing live modding sessions, and I hope I don't electrocute myself. But today,、uh, I thought it would be good to dive back into a、uh, you know a topic that some content community members have already reviewed. They've had access to the beta. There's been a Kickstarter for it. So we're talking about. Pi Packer and Pi Packer is that retro online system where you can load up a game on their library. You can bring your own game and send a link to people. And I wanted to see how easy it was.、Uh, and here, joining me today for the very first time on my channel, I'm super honored to have him as a guest. The one, the only, the man who's everywhere on YouTube, <laughs> Michael B. The Game Genie. How's it going, man? Good B, thank you so much for having me on, brother. Yeah, I、uh, I figured it finally make the invitation and rounds to have you come on my channel as well to to invite you on and say hello. But I asked you earlier today to see if you had any experience with Pi Packer, and、uh, seems like you you're kind of new to this, like me, right? So we'll have a little bit of a journey together. Yeah, we're gonna have a journey together. It's funny <laughs> because I got、uh, offered an opportunity to do the beta months ago, and I was really excited about it. I I love the idea of Pi Packer. It's just、uh, you know the path to hell is paved with good intentions, and I was like, yeah, I'm totally gonna do this. Then I didn't do that. So <laughs> when you told me about it today, I finally signed up for the beta today. Yeah, and so the beta was available, you know, probably to some other people earlier on, but the Kickstarter officially ended last Friday, and so they had a super successful Kickstarter campaign, which is mostly for the physical console portions of it. Like all the interviews that we've heard from the actual creators, is that the online platform will be available and I think free to people to really try out and test out once it goes live. But the hardware side of it was the Kickstarter, but once you backed it, which I did. I I backed it, and I for various reasons I saw a lot of people thought it was cool, but I just love the concept that I can start something and send a link to my friend and try to have them join me. And I and I I did two tests earlier today to people that I know were were good friends that that were not into as arcade gaming as we are, and they were able to do it. It was super simple. So I'm hoping we can test some more gameplay today, get some first thoughts. Look at the UI together, and、uh, again, you're going to be experiencing it for for yourself the first time as a guest, right? So you've done zero gameplay in zero. this, zero gameplay. All right, we're going to have a journey. So thank you guys all for joining. We're going to have a good discussion today.、Um, but、uh, I was looking at the UI. I'm going to share my screen right now so you guys can see it and look into the beta. But if if you haven't already backed it, I think they will be releasing the full version of it soon to folks. But the beta was released to anybody that did the Kickstarter. So I just got access to it Saturday. Uh, today was the first day I tested out, but let's do some screen share. Test it out.、Uh, did you have any initial thoughts about? Did you do the back? Did you do? Did you do the Kickstarter at all, or were you just kind of looking and seeing? You have so many ways to play games, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have you ever done like Fightcade or anything else where there's like online play for those types of games too, like playing with other people besides the,、uh, the no, online the, multiplayer? The closest I've ever done is I'm really excited about the. I, I, I'm a big NES fan,、mm-hmm. so.、Uh, With the Switch, you can do online NES games back and forth. So, done a、oh, little、cool. bit of that. That's the closest one I've done. Closest thing you've done? Yeah. yeah. It's、uh, when I first did Fightcade, which if you if you haven't known, like you can download the program, you bring your own ROMs and emulators as well into their system. But they have a huge arcade platform. They also have、uh, SNES ROMs that you can play, and you can literally play pretty much peer to peer. But you have to bring all your own stuff. It's not as easy as Pi Packer, where only、yeah. I need to play the game and send you a link and you join. Two people have to be set up for it. So that's the difference between there. All right. Well, let's get into it. Let's do a screen share and get into. Pa Packer. All right, here it is. So here is the beta version of Pi Packer. So this is the UI. I've already logged in. I've created my account. So once you, hello, hello. <laughs> So once you create your account,、um, pretty much you get access to the system. It's super simple. Just email 
password. And then here is the UI where you can see on the left side, different featured games, a bring your own game version for NES, Genesis, and Super Nintendo. And then breaking out into several categories, you have multiplayer, platformers, shooters, and then the types of games that are here, they're mostly consoles that I've seen, but it actually spans several different systems. Um, so like in terms of the featured games here, uh, I, you know, there's Earthworm Jim was probably like the most name brand name that I saw here, which is, a, I think, the Genesis version of it. And then uh, um, so if I clicked on it, it went into the game. But they also have PlayStation 1 games as well. So here's Earthworm Jim. Here's Worms, which is a PlayStation game. This is an arcade game. So they have several different platforms. Um, so I'm not sure how much you've looked at the library, Michael B., but seeing these games that are already here, what do you think of this kind of collection of games that they've put together so far for the beta? I mean, it's okay. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Like, uh, yeah. especially for a multiplayer online platform. Earthworm yeah. Jim Two is a cool game, but are you going to play it multiplayer? <laughs> <laughs> there are so it says here there's like a little controller with a little number here and it tells you which ones are like multiplayer and yeah. which are single players and i was actually surprised to your point there are a good number of single player games on here as well so i don't know where that online aspect comes into this because that's their platform but again they look at all these one player games that are here yeah mm -hmm. uh -huh. um so that i don't know maybe there's some sharing aspects you can do with it take turn plays, but yeah, they have a quite a number of single player games. That's quite interesting. It's a good point. Um, but the in terms of graphics wise, I think it looks like they're peaking out at the PlayStation era of gaming. So I've seen a couple of different PlayStation games, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I think at least for online play to have that level. Uh, and the only thing that's also missing is the, the arcade library, even though it's here, um, I'm hoping when we get back to the bring your own game opportunity that we'll be able to come back and and bring arcade ROMs to. So that's the thing that I haven't seen yet. And I, I don't remember or recall if they're going to be doing that, but that would be awesome because we know arcade games are also very much built for multiplayer. But yeah, do you want to do some testing? Do you have any Let's do it. request for anything? No, man, you're driving the car here. I'm just here <laughs> for the ride. Here for the ride. All right. So what I really wanted to do was, uh, uh, you know, I think there's awesome. There's a lot of good stock games here, but um, I was really interested in this because I'm, I'm Super NES was my main console growing up. That's my main jam. And so I had a ton of games that I love playing. I love the thought that I can play Secret of Mana with somebody online too. I know that you have a big uh, place in your heart for Legend of Zelda. And I was like, oh, the, like Four Swords or other things, right? Like those, those are types of games where it would be so fun to play those things online because it was so hard to get people to play with me when I was playing Secret of Mana back in the day. Um, so yeah, those are things I'm most excited about, but that's going to take a long time till we get to Secret of Mana. But let's do Mario Kart. Let's do a simple game and see if it works. Do you have your controller set up? Are you in? I have a controller. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I'm connected again. It went off. All right. So Pi Packer reads my uh, camera, so I have a separate camera that's here, and it's loading up the game. So all I did was I have these ROMs, the SNES ROMs, on my desktop, and I just dragged it into the UI, and then it pretty much loaded it. And from here, you can see in my settings menu, I can test out my different uh, camera settings that are here, uh, and then I'm going to enter the room. From here, it's loading up the game, and now I just have this URL that I'm going to click all right is that echoey is that okay oh i love it all right <laughs> all right i'm gonna hit the copy button and send you the link in our private chat and see if you can click this and join all right and let's see what happens so here i am i'm in the lobby so i have my camera on in pie packer so if somebody's watching they can see the stream they can see my camera you have a little chat room here you can add little things oh and there's michael b so i see michael b in pie packer but i think we're uh, so I don't know if you've enabled your mic and things, but I think like you, I tested it earlier. So you can actually talk through this as well if we weren't talking already through StreamYard. So <laughs> that's pretty cool that we can see each other in the game already. Was that pretty easy to join? Did you have any first thoughts on like just clicking it and joining? Like what did you have to do on your end for people? Literally nothing. nothing. I basically, I basically just clicked, clicked, it, clicked it and I was in. I was in. But well, I'm also on a beta, beta, right? I don't know how it'll work with somebody that's not on a beta. beta. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. So you might have already had an account. So, and I, I do hear an echo from you. I wonder that if that's because there's um the mic from the main cameras too. Mm. Do you guys hear an echo? Anybody in the chat? Just curious to see if there's there's an echo. All right. 
I wonder, I'm just trying to see if there's other like UI options for me. Like if, if I'm the master person in this room, can I like mute you? Can I like, <laughs> I'm curious to see. All right. Can you give me a, a test for some audio? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Do you hear any feedback or echo? Okay, you, there was an echo. So there's is there an echo only when Michael B talks? Or do you hear an echo when I talk? I hear an echo hear when an you echo talk on my on my end. Oh, okay. So I wonder if we have to like just mute. All right, I'm gonna go to here and I'm just gonna mute the speakers here. So can do you have options to mute your stuff in the game? Done. All right, perfect. No more echo. Excellent. That's right. So cool. So you have some settings to kind of adjust yourself. And I know most people won't have an other external program they're using right now. But since we are, we wanted to echo that. But look at these other options here that you can, I don't know if this actually works. Oh my goodness. All right. I can have, I can have funky hair apparently or be, <laughs> yeah. Do you do that too on your end? Do you see like a little, little person where you can add stuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think you have. Crown? I think you have to be like really up close. Like I think you have to be really almost eating the camera to be it. But otherwise, yeah, the AR is a little. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yes. All right. How fun. <laughs> Excellent. Look at that. This is so cool. All right. So these are just little features you can do from the camera and settings. We're just getting used to it right now. I think we're just doing some learning the UI, other things we can do. Um, you can see in the lobby room that you can see myself, we have Proud River, which is Michael B that's in here. We can add a local player, or if there's more, more than two player games, we can add more people into the lobby. All right. So let's get into the game itself. Um, I have a controller set up. If I hit my start button, all right, hopefully it should go to the start screen. I'm gonna go to two player. We'll do a regular 50 CC. Or are you a 100 CC kind of guy? I'm a 50 CC guy. Let's do it. <laughs> Me too. I was like, all right, are you hardcore? Are you nostalgia good? Or <laughs> can you move? All right, look at that. You're already yeah. moving your you're moving your player two. And I'm player one. Excellent. All right, cool. That was easy. So I was. Yeah. I'm also really curious about the if there's any lag input at all. So if there was right. a little bit. I'm gonna a be little bit. Yeah, okay, I cool. On my end. All right, right away. I think you have to confirm one more time. All right, there you go. All right, we'll just do mushroom group and see how it goes. And I think that's inevitable, right? But you, yeah. I'm technically the host and hosting the ROM, so I think your experience is going to be interesting to to hear. All right. And you're using a controller. Yeah, Xbox controller. Xbox and did it, it registered fine already? Like yeah. you didn't have to do any setup or anything. No controller configuration. Oh my god. This, nice. is, this is actually working really well. Is it? Nice. Yeah, really well. I'm playing no. using an arcade controller, and it's not as easy, but it's still playable. See, it, the thing is, I'm not a pure arcade guy. I'm mostly a console guy. So this is easy peasy <laughs> so this, for me. It's, it's comfortable for you? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Look at that. All, all I know is I'm beating Michael B in an actual console game. So I'm going to enjoy uh, this and see how far I can get. I'm trying to figure out where the break is. <laughs> break? There's no break in Mario Kart. You just jump and you go. Jump, yes. eh? Yeah. <laughs> you got a, the, the Mario Kart drift, the hop drift. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Well, I'll tell you, Piepacker just won a lot of points with me. Uh, for the fact you could do this. I didn't think we were able to do this part about bring your own game until they brought out the console. Like the fact that you can just add your own ROMs that you probably got from Cool Toy is really interesting. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, if you need to find a ROM, the best place to go is your friend Google. But other than that, Cool Toy might have it for you. But I can now say I've beaten Michael B the Game Genie ah. in a head to head matchup. Yes, that is so freaking awesome. Um, uh, yeah, so HR Fanatic says you should call it drunk cart. <laughs> so yeah, so did you still notice a little bit of lag on your end for, no, for no, playing? But once it no, started, it was good? Yeah. Yeah, wow. It so I, I just, if you can see, I just drag this and I'm playing in a browser right now. So this is my browser window. And if everything just worked super easily, like I'm, this is the arcade stick that I'm using. So I'm using a... Um, just a, a fight stick. Um, I forget what it, the Mad Cats one that has sound wall buttons and joysticks. So I just have it plugged into my PC. Um, but it already pre-mapped 
the joystick yeah. too. So uh, cool. And your Xbox controller, perfect. No, no issues. Yeah, no issues. Nice. That's super cool. All right, cool. So that's really cool. If you have any questions, let us know. Cause this, this is really, um, pretty awesome. So as the host, I'm going to end the game and tell me what happens to you when I exit. Cause I don't think we're like in the same lobby where we can just jump. I think I have to send you a unique invite for every single game that we play. It's not like we can have a session and keep jumping. So I'm going to end this and see what happens. So did it just completely boot you out? Uh, the host has left the room. The game is over. Ah, the host has left the room. The game is over. Got it. Okay. But yeah, this BYOG feature pretty nifty, right? It's super easy. Let's do it one more time. Do you have a, do you have a preference of game? I have, uh, let's do a Sega Genesis one. Gunstar yeah. Heroes or Golden Axe? Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Golden Axe. All right. So we're going to go to Genesis. And it just pops up this window where you can drag and drop your game. It has all these compatible file types. So you can click on this to upload it from wherever. Or you can just have this on your desktop. I'm just going to drag it in. Look how easy this was. This was super easy. I assume that their programming already has the base emulators. Um, and then it's just loading the ROM hopefully to match up with whatever the emulator is. But um, we'll see. It loads. The camera's working. I was really surprised how, how easy this was. Um, and while we're waiting for this, uh, this is a two-player game. Uh, I'll bring them on in a little bit. Let's let's do one more, one more game, and then I want to try a, a, a true multiplayer game with more than two people, because there's yep. some four-player games you can try. All right, so let's enter the room. I'm going to hit Copy, and let's send this over to Michael B. All right. All right, let me know when you're in. Excited for Pie Packer, how exciting. So first thoughts are ready, easy, right? And once you're logged in, did you have to re-log in again? Like, did you just click it and did you go automatically in? Go automatically in. Go, Autom you've got to go and turn off your mic. In I have to, oh, I have yeah. to turn off my mic again. All right, I'm echoing. All right, got it. All right, so now better? Yeah. All right, cool. So this is a Genesis version of Golden Axe. And I think as the host player, I need to hit the start button. And I don't know if you select two player or if you actually just, do you have to, do you just hit start to yourself? Is Golden Axe two player? Isn't it? No. <laughs> I don't know. If, uh, I can't remember if Sega Genesis Golden Axe is two player. Oh, that would be a crime if it's not. Look, like there's a looks, looks like there's. Can you hit start on yours? All oh, right, let me actually play the game. All right, I'm gonna just hit start. Yep. Can you hit start on yours? Is anything happening? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Oh, I wonder if we have to do something like to enable two player. Maybe That's chat wild. knows. Does chat know? You think it's one player? But look, the screen has room for a second player. It would be really. A, a crime if it's only a one-player version of it oh that's sad well if you wanted to play by yourself you could and i just totally wasted my magic potion <laughs> Ugh, there's no enemies on the screen too all right but at least i can walk around and uh play with the best character ever best costume in the world i should buy one of these for mrs kong <laughs> <laughs> so i guess i guess the uh like say for example uh, uh -huh. you had a patreon uh -huh. Or like an OnlyFans, and uh, <laughs> you want to do something special, like you could do one-on-one -on -one gaming <laughs> sessions where you could just send an invite out to one of your fans and oh, be like, true. "Hey, you want to hang out and watch me play a game?" Yeah, exactly. And you do some, and it's so easy because it's actually like you can see the the camera and everything too. So it's that social aspect of it, and the yeah. the ease, the UI has been really impressive so far to have it integrate with your camera pretty easily too. Yeah, are you using the same camera that on Pie Packer as you are on Streamyard too? Like yeah. it's the same, same exact one. Yeah. Nice. So it's, it's detecting multiple cameras too. All right. So this is no fun if it's just me playing, but so you can't press anything. Oh, that totally sucks. All right. Maybe yeah, I just don't I, know. I don't know what you're talking about. More of the fun times I've had, I've been playing with myself. I'm always <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> always satisfied. Always satisfied. All right. Well, let me bring on a second guest uh, to the stream as well right now. Someone who uh, was a fan of Pie Packer. I saw him host a video about why Pie Packer is still something to back, and he gave some refutal points to to mr rexer who convinced our other friend to back out of the pie packer campaign oh, so i wanted he to hear <laughs> i wanted to hear from him a little bit about his thoughts on just seeing this and as if he's tested it so let's welcome to the stream guys mr rainwater games what's going on man 
How's it going, everybody? Yeah, thanks for joining in to help us test the Pie Packer. Like, so you've yeah. seen it backstage a little bit. It's finally here. Have you actually gotten your hands wet playing the beta at all? No, not <laughs> at all. You know, I think they sent this to us on what Friday or Saturday. Yeah, I've been mm -hmm. so busy. I haven't even had a chance to like create an account or whatever you got to do. Like, I and then when you sent the message to me, yeah, you want to come play Pie Packer with me? I'm just like. Yeah, actually, that's kind of what I was planning on doing this this evening. So, sure, why nice. not? Let's do it. See, Jeff, because this is the curse, man. You started doing YouTube videos more regularly, and you realize that oh, once you're making the YouTube videos, you have no time to play the stuff that you bought and you want to play. Right? I know. It's all about them views, buddy. Got to get them views. Well, no, it's just not about the views. <laughs> what actually happens is you get so crazy with it, you're like, I'm going to spend 22 hours doing an At Games Legends pinball review that 11 people will watch. I no, I I saw this review today from a guy who did the Star Wars pinball review. Yeah, and it was it was the only like arcade related video the guy's ever done, and it was a really really well done video. And I complimented him like that was an amazing review, like thumbs up. I'm subscribed and all this. He's like, I don't really make arcade content, <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, well, you did a great job with that review. You sold me on it, but. Um, I yeah, don't know I mean, what controller to use on this. Uh, you can plug in anything. I, I think got well, this guy. Will this guy work? Yeah, oh, I, try it I out. Pull up for my I, son. He plays his Switch <laughs> with it. I saw Cool Toys video about Pie Packer, and he plugged in like four or five different controllers, and they all seem to work. Guy. So I think, uh, yeah, try whatever you can. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and now see. Uh, I'm still, I'm really enamored by this bring your own game stuff. Cause even though the library is good so far, like I love that most people can have access to their own library and I want to play four player Bomberman with a bunch of people. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So let's run and play super Bomberman three or two. And let's see if we can play some, some super multiplayer. Cause that would be super simple. Talk about like one of the simplest games ever, but really hard to, to control. Right. It's, it's one of these things I can send a link to somebody even, Co-workers or somebody, and we can just play really quickly. Oh, am I supposed so that... to click on this? <laughs> I'm like, well, you're sending me uh, not yet, not yet. I'm, so I need to enter the oh. room first, and then I got to copy the invite. So you still have to send invites per game. So let me do this, and then I'm going to send you That's guys. That's kind of the... dumb. They should be able to like create a party, a and... lobby, or a party or something. Yeah, because yeah, because most people aren't going to use Streamyard to talk to each other, and then you know what I mean. They're going to just. Be like, okay, guys, check your Facebook. I'll send you the next game, or you know, yeah. Well, while you're in the beta program, you can pass along that information. <laughs> Isn't that part of being part of the beta program? Oh, is that what this is? A beta? I don't know. I'm in so many betas these days. <laughs> yes, I know about one beta you're in that you <laughs> kind of leaked to everybody, Jeff Rainwater. <laughs> oh, come on now. John was like, everybody that's laughing right now is in the beta. Uh, what am I doing here? Enter as a guest. Yeah, so you do have to when you enter a guest. I think just enter your email and and a username, and then it'll just log you in. And I think um, if you already create an account, then you already have access to that. So looks looks pretty simple. See if you can add in your camera and get going. So here, here's the thing I don't understand about this. So the guy, mm -hmm. the guy that was so down on this, our friend Rexer. <laughs> hated this and he's like i don't get it i don't get the point of it i don't know why everybody's liking it but yet what he doesn't understand is that if he had pie packer he was in the beta i could upload nhl 94 or the sega genesis to this and then send a request to him and we could play nhl 94 together right across away. the way and it's free he could be doing that right now but no rexer had to poo poo this <laughs> oh hey look at that it puts my camera up there already yeah <clears throat> I mean, the, the the ease of just sending a link and not having to worry about it. Um, and, and if you don't have a controller, by the way, by default, it works with a keyboard. So anybody that has access to um, any web browser, because I, I confirmed with a friend earlier who tried it out with the Mac, and it worked with the Mac too. So uh, whatever web browser, like all three of us are here. Perfect. Excellent. All right, Jeff, I think you just need to try to uh, mute your mic in Pie Packer. You should be able to hover over your picture and then see a little cogwheel and then just yep. mute your mic in the pie packer itself got it all right cool all right so let's do this we're let's in see. bomber man all three of us are here i don't know why michael b's fuzzy in pie packer, i don't know though. which controller is actually the one working for me here <laughs> all right so um well, maybe I'm i gonna... gotta use my keyboard 
Yeah, see if you see if you can. I'm gonna start up the multiplayer game and hit, hit three players, and we'll see how how quickly you guys can actually get in here and do it. So I think I can set. Oh, I gotta do battle mode. Oh, I did the wrong one. Okay, never mind. So okay, so I did a one player game, but if you hit this little rewind button right here, this back button, this is gonna reset the whole game. So that's as simple. If you want to just restart the game, if I don't want to rage quit and be like, no, you're beating me. I can, I as the host, I guess I can do this. Do you, but you guys don't have any of these options here, right? On your screen? Uh do you, like if you're looking at no, StreamYard, okay, no, you don't no, see no. any of those options? Okay. Got it. Cool. All right. Sorry, and I haven't been able to check too much on chat to see if there's any other questions. Uh, Bobby Broadway asked, it only accepts three systems ROMs. I think at the moment right now, I think their their plan is to release more ROMs yeah. or more systems you can add, right? Yeah. All right, so battle game is what I want to do. I want to host a battle game. All right, let's do single match with three players and we'll do the fourth one as a controller. All right. Here we go. Uh, computer level five time. Let's I got noon. so many things plugged in. I'm not sure which controller is going to be the one that'll work, but we'll see. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'll try all right. them all. This is so exciting. A multiplayer bomber man. All right, I'm the I'm oh, white. Cool. Who are you? I'm up in the right hand corner. Okay, so it's red? working with it's working with this little guy. Okay. The and Michael B, controller. which one are you? Are you the? I am black. Always black bet one? on black. Always bet on black. All right, here we go. That was simple. We got three player bomber man going on. Put into chat who you think is going to win this match right now. It's Not obvious me. if you look at our names who's going to win. <laughs> Super obvious. That was really easy. I was surprised. I, I didn't have to do any kind of setup with my controller or anything. It already registered just... everything. Yeah, I yeah. just plugged it into the USB port. What the heck was that? What are you doing to me? <laughs> <laughs> you like sent something over here. That's, what, here. that's what you need to do. Oh, wait. So Michael's black. Are you white or blue? I'm the white one. What? Why was my shit? What? Oh, no. What? what? Ah, ah. Blue got me. Uh, blue is a computer. Blue got me. Ah, oh, no, yeah, you're no. <laughs> I blew it myself. I think you won. Oh, now oh, you no, no, no. The computer won. <laughs> you're really? Blue. I said you're the computer level This is how high. bad we are. We're so bad the computer beats all three of us. All right, all right, wow. all right. One more round. First, first right. person to to get get uh, two wins. We'll see. We'll see how far we go. Let's see. How... I just remember playing this so. Often. But and when you, this is original SNES, remember? So do you, did you have a multi tap, Michael B? No, I didn't have the multi tap. I remember getting a multi tap and was like, "This is the greatest game ever." When I just play with my cousins all day the long. Multi tap. Multi tap was only sold with Bomberman and Super Bomberman too. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. ah, Rainwater oh, no. Games, you ain't gonna win shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dunzos. This is the most fun I've had in the last twenty minutes. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no! no. no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Winner, 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 ah. chicken dinner. <laughs> One gold trophy for you. <laughs> Steve says he was disappointed in us in our first loss, but hopefully we made up for it. But this is good. And you guys are using controllers. I'm using an arcade stick, so arcade stick for the win right now. I ordered, I, you know what I did? I actually ordered on Amazon for like, I think they're 16 bucks for two. Mm -hmm. Some like uh, USB controllers that look just like Super Nintendo controllers. They're probably garbage, but. Um, Oh no! 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 no. <laughs> me down there. I thought it was you for a second. Stay away from Oprah. <laughs> bye. Oh no! Bye uh, bye. Bye bye. The guy with the multi tap. You gotta know. You gotta know how to play. 
This is such an easy. There's, I think there was a Switch version of Bomberman 2 that yeah. came out recently. That did you play it? It's super Bomberman fun too. Uh, the only Switch version I played was Super Bomberman Manor, which is. Yeah, my son played it, and like we had a lot of fun with it too. So I just love the Bomber Seven series. It's just super simple. All right, let's see. Let's do first to three since I already have two wins. <laughs> I have to win one to get to three, right? Got to at least start somewhere. Go away, go away! All right, I see what no, you're doing there. Oh no, bye no! Bye. Where did that one come from? How did you uh, throw that over there? Uh, you have a glove, uh, so the glove lets you pick up stuff and you can throw it. You gotta have the glove. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Bye bye, Michael. Oh B. no! Why do I keep doing bye this? Bye bye. I trap myself every time against you. Bye bye, Such Michael. A simple B. game, but so much fun. Bye bye. All right. I think we can all test that um, I am the master Bomberman player. So if we ever need to bet money on anything, we're playing Bomberman. So, <laughs> all right. Longest king. <laughs> all right let me exit out of here so that you guys can get it well oh i already went through okay i was first to three anyway so there you go official official victory victory is mine uh any and so as the host again no lag from you guys when you guys started like you couldn't tell any lag input from your controller even playing online in the browser pretty impressive no. i mean these are simple games right i mean this is just snes um but yeah i'm curious about any of the more complicated games let me let me check out and let's go back into the library and if you guys can go back to watching the Streamyard share because they have some games in here that already have multiplayer functions so let's pick a game in here that we can play as a group too because i think that um we'll go to the multiplayer category so here's their list of multiplayer games. oh they have a version of bomberman called Ar Ar arsenine lupin's gentleman bomber have you guys heard of that before no. Sorry, I clicked on it. So there's that. So this is, looks like another fun version of Bomberman. Um, I have to go back to multiplayer. Okay, so here's that. There's Worms. Ooh, PlayStation uh, Worms. That game is that. That's a hoot. Yeah, but I think I feel like this would take a long time though, because like it's look, a you have to like game, yeah, yeah. it's a longer game. Our right, Xeno Crisis is a two player game. This is a you know the style where you walk around. But it's only two players. We have Micro Mages. is a four player game. Soccer's two players, Pico Dragons two players. Ooh, Micro Maniacs Racing. You want to try this one? This is a PlayStation game that's four players. Sure, sure. Yeah, let's see if we can run because this is a PlayStation. I think PlayStation is the highest graphic goal game that they have. So, yeah, now I'm curious to see how the performance wise works on the PlayStation game. And so you guys are in about as far away from each other as you can get, right? I mean, you're California and eastern canada right well it so, goes a little further than eastern canada i'm on an island off the eastern yeah, coast of on canada. an island <laughs> off eastern canada so if there's gonna be any leg you guys would be seeing it here right yeah all right so let me share the link back to you guys to join okay and we'll get back in here and see how it goes playstation playstation oh. playstation all right <clears throat> Codemasters, genius at play. What's Proud River? Is that a secret name that you have for when you join games? Uh, no, this is just the name that the beta that I signed up for gave me. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. Because I don't, I don't have the Kickstarter beta. This was a uh, pre-beta for influencers. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So I thought it like I thought that was your secret secret code name for winning as Jeff's is uh, his hopeful wishes of he's going to win. Hopeful wishes. Hopeful no, my wishes. Uh, my uh, <laughs> my secret name when I go in to play games against people is Nostalgia Two. <laughs> Everybody remember that if you're playing, you never know. Okay, so here we go. Let's do t challenge, time trial versus. Let's do versus. Oh, I got to do the microphone thing again. I'm like, why am I echoing? Oh, I think I'm echoing too. I need to turn off stuff. Okay. And I there think that's go. normally that's only because we're doing StreamYard and this at the same yeah, time. I think exactly. normally people would need to do that. Exactly. And then we'd be set up. Every single time though, is Michael B frozen on your version when you see him in Pie Packer? Wow. Yeah, it's frozen on a fuzzy picture and his his face is going <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, because if you look at our StreamYard thing, you can see us on the left and it's so interesting. I don't know why why your thing is always frozen, but all right, let's uh let's get into this. All right, Ma Ma Twister, Waldo Pyra. All right, so these are the people we can pick. PlayStation always has those like long loading times for games, though. So curious. Oh, can we pick a character? Can we go? All right, 
Loading. Oh, this is a demo. Did I not get into the actual? <laughs> I like the little AR thingies that you got going on. I got to put something on too. All right. This works this so would well. be great for my son because he's really shy. Yeah. So he can put this on his own. There you go, Michael B. <laughs> All right. Gonna, gonna be uh, my, uh, my Hero Academia look. All right, here we go. Can you guys pick characters? Can you guys press start? Oh, uh, sorry. All right, there you go. This controller doesn't have a start. Twister! Oh, so it's oh, it's a versus thing. So we have to do like two on one. I I have no idea how to play this game, but we'll find out. Oh, beatbox! I'm totally beatbox. I used to beatbox in college in an acapella group. So I don't even know if I'm in. I'm not sure how this was. Oh, I keep hitting turbo. I normal I start button on this controller. I forgot the name of this game already. All right, beatboxer, twister, and V4. <clears throat> All right. Oh, you can move your controller around, so that's how you know. All right. Oh wow. No, uh, there is leg. On the PlayStation version? All right, press start. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> Jay Kwong. Yeah, I think What's there up, is Rev? some leg there. A little bit. All right. All right. I think we're racing. Oh, it feels a little bit slow. Or maybe I just don't know how to play. Do I have to? Oh, you press the button to move. <laughs> maybe it's just this game. I think you're just. Oh, what are we supposed to? Is, is this a racing game? Oh. <laughs> I think we're just racing, going around in circles. This is actually awesome. <laughs> this Stay is away tricky. from me. I can't. Yeah. You. <laughs> it's like. We're playing RC Pro Am, but we're running. <laughs> this is Sonic Sonic Error. <laughs> Stay close press, to the corners. Stay close to the corners. If you press on mine, it's triangle, but if you press triangle, he goes, ah, ah, ah. Oh, I got a secret oh, weapon. Wait, jump. Oh, that's pretty that? okay. Oh my god. I don't god. know. Oh I, I pressed the button. You're like and all off I know is, the screen. All I know is that I'm winning. <laughs> All right, again, one more time. Go. All right. Oh, no. I feel like once we got going, it was okay. I wonder if their library of games for PlayStations have to like be limited to some of these simpler games. It seemed okay once we got going. But Jeff, you said you were you still feeling any lag from the inputs, or was it just loading that you felt like it? It was just it? in that first screen. Like I would hit left, and it would like take a second, and then it would turn. I don't know. Maybe it's just that. Oh, so, oh, so you screen. just you just play until you knock the other people off the screen. So oh, there's really? like, yeah. So if you like lag behind, oh, that's how you play. Okay, I I think I'm getting it. Wasn't there a game called Micro Machines that also was like that? Nope. 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 Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh. Yeah. What are these guys? They're like little masked like ducks or something what are, what what are these things oh am i so slow come back come back oh no that's the brake button or oh, that's jump button or oh, there's a jump button jump jump Oh, what is that thing? I don't know what it does, but I just did a special weapon. Like attacking yes. us. <clears throat> What's the giant mouse? Oh no, I hit the wall. Get away from me. No. Oh, ah! you're done for if he hits you with that. No. Beatbox. Beatbox. Ba -boom -boom. This <laughs> seems like it should be a lot easier than it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting ahead the, of me. The beatbox is going to take it. Get get it get, get it get weapon? it get it. No no no! Come back! I need like Has a Michael B won a stage yet? Something. No. So I wonder if this could just potentially go on forever if we just. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I know there's probably some other like strategy to this. Like I'm just gonna turn around and try Whoa. to shoot you. All right, that was probably a bad idea. <laughs> bad <Yeah>! strategy. <laughs> All right, congratulations. That wasn't bad. That wasn't too bad. All right. 
Oh, game point. That means you must be. Oh, what did I do? Oh, dang. I'm already out. Come on, Michael B. Let's go, Michael B. I'm going to win. The Michael B. Don't fight for free. <laughs> We're screaming at each other. How do I punch you? Oh! No! This is like the simplest. Oh, I'm so close! I already forgot what the name of this game was, but I'm going to remember it after this. This is pretty cool. This is like one of those simple ones where I could send this to a friend and be like, hey, let's just play a simple, quick game. When you need to have a tiebreaker for something. There you go. There you go. And it's four players, too. So nice. Very cool. All right. Nice. So this game was called officially. If, do you guys remember the name of the game? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody in the chat remember the name of the game before I end it? I don't even know if you can like get into it in here at all. Oh, I think this little like this little button says find help in keyboard hints. Um, after the load, oh, keyboard hint, game info. This game is called Micro Maniacs Racing. There you go. Yeah. That run like GTA. Maybe it makes you faster. <laughs> oh, so oh, and here's the keyboard controls if you're playing on a keyboard too. So you can just oh, cool. pause the game and you have W A S D as your simple how to play. Very cool. Nice. So that's nice that they have little instructions there that you can do. Use. use the UI. Oh, if you press the little save button, you have little save states. So it says game is saved. So that's pretty cool. So you can do save states as well. You can pause a game if you're like, hey on, I gotta go to the bathroom. Did it pause it for you guys too? So it's just yeah stuck on screen. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. The master man. Oh, I can do full screen if I wanted to. Cool. And and there's also a chat feature too here. So if we're in this room, we could also chat, chat, hello. So for those folks. Yo. Nice. All the features that are here. All right. So now that you guys have experienced PlayStation, a Genesis, and SNES, kind of the the guest experience. Like Jeff, let me ask you first. Like, was this what you expected? You had been following this, doing some content on it. How's the experience now testing it as a potential guest joining? Well, from a guest perspective, this is super easy. I mean, literally, you just sent us a, a, a link. <clears throat> you click on the link, type in your name, and it it auto detected my controller that I just plugged into a USB port. Mm -hmm. It auto detected my camera, and I mean, it, and my microphone, and everything. It's and it just put me up on screen, and I'm just in. I'm just going. It's like, it's kind of what I was hoping for. Just a simple, easy to do. Um, I'm really curious how this is going to work with the reader, where you can like put cartridges and stuff in. Mm -hmm. That's going to be cool. I got a huge box. There's just hundreds of uh nes gotta, games out of my garage gotta start blowing at them they're going <laughs> right <I'm>, so. yeah <laughs> that's how you do it right michael blowing no that's not how you do it 70 percent <laughs> isopropyl alcohol and a q-tip do not yes. blow in your games <laughs> oh i remember the q-tips but i mean but as long as you blow it like using your t-shirt and like covering it right like that that helps no 70 <laughs> percent isopropyl alcohol and a q-tip it's the only way to do it uh michael b what are your initial thoughts now after testing out several games playing the, the pie packer as a guest I, I gotta say i'm really super impressed with how easy this was mm -hmm. like the simplicity of taking your own legally um legally found rom and putting mm -hmm. it into the byog and then sharing that with people like mm -hmm. this is a blast i can't wait to you know hit up some of my friends and start playing some old sports games from the sega genesis era together i might have missed that did you guys put a rom in here yeah yeah we did it earlier so they had this byog feature right now it's nes genesis and super nes so for example i can just click this super nes and you can drag and drop your game so I, that's what i did with bomberman right so that's what we yeah. did when we loaded up bomberman so for example uh, i really want to play somebody in street fighter 2 turbo right now so let's load it up and send it so you have all your fighting genres you can play mortal wow. kombat you can do any of that stuff and so it just loaded it it already had you don't need the emulator you just need your legally owned rom which i have on my desktop <laughs> and there's different fi there's different file types that it recognized so like these are both um super nas games so this is the zipped version of it that you might find this is the dot ffsfc version and so this is super street fighter 2 turbo and boom 
is there. Wow. All right. I'm going to copy this into private chat right now and then see which one of you guys wants to challenge me. Jeff, you take it, man. I'll sit back. Oh, I was going to let you do it because I'm so <laughs> nope. bad at this game. Nope. <laughs> it's it's, it's almost right, like okay. if, we're, if we were going to have the big blue come out, is that something that you guys would be interested in? This would be online Street Fighter play, right? Is that would either of you guys be interested in the big blue online play if it came out? If I hadn't just bought the Legacy Edition cabinet, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Oh, and it has this feature here at the top where it says, would you like to continue from where you left off? So if you save the game and you jump back into it, I was in here earlier, it'll ask you to kind of pick up where you're at. So this is really handy if you're playing, you know, like if we were playing Secret of Mana or something, Michael B, right? Just something that we had long yeah. progress for and we wanted to just jump back in. I love that you have save states and things like that. I can't, that was one of the, the best things about emulation when I wanted to relive older games is that I can save state and just jump back in. I hated looking for save points like, Mm, on old classic games. Did you ever have that experience, Michael B, where you couldn't find that save point and you lost your progress on anything? <laughs> no, I mainly had the battery dying where I didn't mm -hmm. press reset after I saved and then lost my progress that way. Uh, uh, but uh, save states, I, I, I got a bit of a... Rewind buttons and save states give me a little bit of pause because it gives you the ability to not be so ethical about beating a game so i, I i'm <laughs> You're not as big on yes <laughs> you the purest of wanting to play it in its true form but the casualness in me is like yes let me have it oh so you can select up and down all right jeff so we're in it let's go to options and uh, this will allow you to make sure you map your buttons however you want to so we'll go to options i might your mic you're oh, echoing gotta... sorry you're killing me Kill him, Miss Smalls. All right, here we go. Oh, dear. Let's see. All right. So, I don't have that many buttons. Oh, wait. No, I got triggers. Let's see. Oh, how come my, my joystick isn't being registered? Are you moving up and down? Yeah. Oh, it's because yep. you hit the yep. option button. So maybe it's it's options for you. I have to probably do it oh. separately. But all right. Go ahead and do your buttons. Yeah, like I'm going to remember all this. Okay. All right. All right. How do all I right, get press, out? Press, this, press oh, the start button. Set. Yeah, and then press the start button. Whatever you got for start. Okay, here we go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Street Fighter Two Turbo Hyper Fighting. Although I don't know if my did my joystick crap out. I can't press the start button now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Right, this might chat. be our first. This might Is be it... our first USB issue, or it might just be me. Okay. Hashtag Team Jeff or hashtag Team B. Mm. Put it in the chat. <laughs> oh no, my USB controller died. Okay, all right, that's nice. bad news. So I, I, this isn't this isn't a controller issue or a Pi Packet issue. This is me using this generic USB controller and this PC. I had like right before the stream, I was having issues with Michael B, and my joystick died. So I, all right, so I have a spare controller. Let's see what happens if I just plug in a brand new controller so I can play this. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Or maybe I can just use. The keyboard if all else fails let's see what happens if i plug this you're in. gonna play street fighter 2 with a keyboard hey it's done have you heard of, have you heard of hitbox before so they you have this mean advantage right yeah they have something called hitbox where you can actually use um most people that got used to playing fighting games with a keyboard you can you can make a box that has the up down left right as buttons and it's called a hitbox controller so there's people that are really good with hitboxes yeah, it's pretty crazy. I remember the early days of emulation and playing stuff like Mike Tyson's Punch Out with the keyboard because I yeah. didn't know how to connect the controller. And it's a wild thing to back now. Yeah. All right. I think I might have to do the keyboard because it's not working for me. All right. Here we go. I Everybody start. says Team B, Team B. They say I'm going to take a dirt nap. <laughs> All right, I got it. I'm I'm using my keyboard now. All right, so this is this is pure keyboard, and we got to see what the controls are. All right, so low punch, low punch, medium this punch, is, this high is where punch. I go like this, and I hand the controller to my son behind me that you can't see. No. <laughs> All right, where are my other where are my other buttons? I know there's four of them. Where's where's the last two? Oh, here, 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 here. Okay. All right, so let me try this again. Sorry. One. All right, one, two. Three. Ah, there it is. A S R. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We're ready. We are ready. I'm going to hitbox this with my keyboard. All right. Here it is. Got my keyboard ready to rock. 
you want turbo or normal? I have no idea. All right, we'll go. We'll go turbo. That's how. That's how we yeah. were playing Street Fighter Two Turbo. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Street Fighter Two. This is a preview of what you might see if you bought the big blue. You would see people on this all day, every day, because Street Fighter Two is the baseline of all fighting games. There's your Street Fighter folks. There's your Mortal Kombat folks. Jeff, are you one or the other? Or are you just not into fighting games? I'm a Street Fighter guy. Yeah. All right. Doesn't Here we mean go. I, doesn't mean I'm going to be good at this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. E Honda. Yeah. It's actually easier to play E Honda because I'm just smashing a button right now. We're both like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I could do. I could play that game too. Come I know. On. I know. Oh no! The comeback. Oh, look how close we <laughs> that were. That was terrible. That was terrible. Why? Why can't I? Why can't I? Oink oink. This is this is like terrible right now. I I'm feeling really embarrassed, but I'm using I'm using a keyboard. All right, here we go. Oh, I see what it is. You just wanted an excuse. Yes, 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 no. yes, yes. Oh yeah, you're toast. Oh, oink, there, oink. Oh. there it is. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, oink, oink. Oh, okay. <laughs> Egon is my boy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I I usually play as Ryu unless I'm not getting my uh, semicircles right for uh, any of my shit, and then I turn over to E Honda because he, he's just so easy to play with, like realistically. Yeah. Stop it! No. Uh, why don't you block? Why don't you no! block? Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting, no! yourself. Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! <laughs> Actually, it wasn't too bad to play with the keyboard with E Honda. It's just like left, right. Hit the yeah. button. <laughs> Victory is mine. Awesome. All right, chat. What do you guys think? Let me know your if you have any final questions. I appreciate both of you guys so much for joining and testing in this beta program of Pi Packer. I'm actually, like you guys, pretty excited now to see how easy this was. I feel confident that once I get some of these games up and running, I could send a link to my friends. Uh, some of them might have issues. I know. So the thing that you guys both have advantages over then you know your layperson is your camera and mic setup right because yeah. you already have something on your pc that's already set up for this versus your average friend may not already have maybe in this new pandemic zoom world that might be set up but uh, i think for people that would have issues there that would be like my only concern of like oh i have to get your camera set up and your mic and all that good stuff um so any any thoughts on the social aspect of pie packer on on that side of it Just curious if you guys have any thoughts you're gonna have to ask me that again. I'm a little slow sometimes. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the social aspect of having people join and set up their cameras and all that good stuff. Like, do yeah. you have any concerns with that? Uh, not really. I mean, I don't. Mm -hmm. Most of the people of my generation, even though we're old now and all turning gray, uh, we're pretty. That stuff's pretty simple to do. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I don't have any concern about anybody setting up their cameras. I'm just really excited because, like, I've got a load of friends that I don't talk to anymore and live so far away from me. But I could call them up tomorrow and be like, hey, man, do you want to play Frank Thomas Big Hurt Baseball in the Sega Genesis? And they'd be like, oh, you remember we used to play that all the time. So we could jump on camera and do it. And it's a way to reconnect with old friends. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Jeff, you mentioned at least one improvement you'd like to see in the program itself, being able to have a lobby and go with each other to different places. Do you have any other thoughts on potential improvements based on what you've seen so far? Um, no, I mean, that's so far, that's the big thing. It's like, it's just because like when you close that game out, like if we, if we didn't have the stream going, we would be completely like silent with each other. So if we're like, going, if you're jumping from one game to another and you're like, well, what do you guys want to play next or whatever you want to play? It's, now you're back to chatting with each other. So it's almost like you got to stay in the previous game until and chat you decide and what you're going to play next. And then and you go, say, okay, right, I'm going to go host and then like have them go. Right. To the next one. Like, oh, that's true. You know what would be really cool? If they could add some kind of Discord uh, component to it where it's almost like a community where people can chat back and forth or maybe open up like a live chat room. You don't necessarily always have to be in a game, but you guys could be talking. And then just like we're doing on StreamYard right now, say, yeah. hey, let's all jump in and play Bomberman 4-player. And then, you know, you can do it that way, even if it's yeah. not a lobby. Lobbies aren't always the best thing. Like uh, I tried to play X-Men versus Street Fighter, Marvel versus Capcom the other night. 
And uh, I went in and set up like a locked room, but of course I used the passcode from Spaceballs, one, two, three, four. And uh, someone got in and got it right away, easy. And uh, anyways, I, I played him for like Proto Man, I think it was, and like he beat me up really bad for like five <laughs> fights in a row. So I was like, yeah, all right. Well, anyways, I'm getting out of here. Good game to my friend Mario, who I thought I was playing against. He was like, dude, I never played you once. Some random guy jumped in. It just jumped so, in. <laughs> yeah, just jumped in and guessed the one, two, three, four, I guess, and beat me up. So I was like, well, that was a waste. Well, what if you had like a lobby, like you're saying, like a Discord type thing where if you had, let's say you had a group of, I don't know, a dozen friends that liked yeah. to come in all the time and you just know, hey, every Thursday night we're going to jump on around this time and whoever shows up, shows up and you can you could do two or three different games going at once, just kind of mix and match with the people that are in your lobby, right? That'd be kind of cool. At least some kind of friends list where you could add your friends and yeah. you communicated when like your friends are online and your friends are playing. Yeah, those are all great good ideas because to your point, many things like Fightcade has a little lobby where you can figure out who your opponent is. And then also, what about the people that maybe don't have people they would want you know connect and send to and they want to just play with with random folks that are interested and want to play that game. So if they had the lobby feature, you could join together and play a game with you know somebody and meet people so i mean i don't know if they'll get to that point of it but it might be a nice option since they already have the capability here so. little community groups and stuff rather than like exactly. i mean the way we're gonna have to do it right now i'm gonna have to knock on your window michael and just be like michael <laughs> michael i'm outside your house again <laughs> hold on I, I got the tin can phone jeff <laughs> <laughs> like why are you always outside go away so, you so don't I live just, here so we don't work for Pie Packer, but we probably should because what we're coming up with is gold here. But I even <laughs> thought about it with one-player games. Like we talked about it earlier, B. What's the point of the one-player game? Yeah, but if true. they also added online leaderboards and stuff like that and had like the best players in the world, and then you could get notifications when like Jeff Rainwater, who's ranked number one in Earthworm Jim Do, is playing. So you can actually go in and watch – Jeff Rainwater played because he's so good. Maybe that's what you want to see. Maybe he's doing a no death run or something like that. There's all kinds of opportunities to do stuff like that with this. Well, I mean, what's the point of a one player game? Like I have a bunch of NES games. That'd be cool. Like being a YouTuber, I can stream. Even if it's a one player game, I can use this to stream right to my computer and it makes it super easy for me to capture it and use my computer as the monitor, right? Versus having to come up with like an Elgato capture card and like adapters and all this to try and get it to work. And then I've got to have like, do I play it on the TV plus on the screen? And all. it's like, this is just a one-stop shot. It just makes everything easy. You know, you kids nowadays with your easy advantages. When I started, we were using <laughs> Dazzles. That's how we, we had to plug our Nintendo into a Dazzle to capture the footage. It looked terrible. But I mean, like everything's so easy now. You could just load up a ROM on your computer in the window and just hit Window G record. I mean, it's like you don't even need uh, a good capture card. Yeah, it's the one with a big old it. camera on his shoulder pointing it at your crt tv oh man yeah. <laughs> I, I, I actually i actually still have friends that do that they do gameplay videos and it's camcorder at the screen like it's crazy oh. so i just threw in the chat a link to the airplane gem which is a one-player game so i mean just to for curiosity's sake what happens when you click on that link okay to join okay 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 so i mean this i bet is it throws all our cameras in there but only one person can control i'm guessing don't echo me. Right, oh, I can Jeff, yeah. I can see you playing. Can you press the start button and try like playing yourself, or like is it locked? And they no. don't have any controls. It no. does. It, does it show you guys that I'm in here? No, nope. I'm in here. <clears throat> no. It says Proud River Player Two. Oh, oh, so like here. It says I'm Player Three. Yeah. So. Yeah, we don't see your camera, Michael B., but it does say the player. So say I'm the player one and I had the control. I'm going to change Jeff to player one now in this room. And now, Jeff, can you hit the start button and play and I can watch you play? Uh, I just did something. Oh, you know what? Do you remember when you were kids and you were playing like a one player Nintendo game and like you'd all take turns? That's oh. what this lets you do. So yeah, you can switch it over to one player. Are right, you playing right now? Is this yep. you, Jeff? Yep. All right, and then I can take control over from you. Let me see if I can switch it. All right, I'm going to switch it to Michael B. Michael B., can you play? Yep, I lost control. 
Yep, I'm playing. Oh, cool. So you can like, you can totally do like, when you get to that boss like, that you can't get past, be like, okay, I'm here now. You take it. That's, That's pretty cool. neat. But you just have yeah. to have the host person, like me as the host, I have to manually switch who's in the player one slot to take over that certain point in time and playing it. Wait, That's cool. That's a pretty neat feature. So that you can like automatically swap on the fly. And now I can be like, nope, I want to take over. And now it's me playing on my little keyboard now. Woohoo. Not weird. bad. Not we bad. Let's see him. He was controlling it, but we can't see him. Wow. Yeah, maybe something with your camera settings are off. And I mean it was freezing before, so I think Pi Packer had issues with my camera at, at earlier as well, too. So you might have to like do a reset at some point. My camera might also be connected to my red tube account. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> not, racist against Canadians. Banned <laughs> by the Pie Packer for whatever. I don't, and I don't even remember hearing what the the official name reason for Pie Packer was. Do you guys? Did you remember? Did you ever get no, that? No, it's a stupid name. Where did they come up with this? He, oh, I know he did an interview uh, with UC well, and with Ralph, but I just forget why they called yeah, it Pie Packer. You know what's funny? The limitations on the consoles basically ring true with the limitations on a Raspberry Pi three. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, I just keep seeing Pie Packer, and I'm thinking it has something to do with a Raspberry Pi. That must have been the yeah. inspiration or something. Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. But otherwise, I'm, I've am i been excited, so this is pretty cool. All right, any final thoughts before we end the stream? Uh, Jeff, final word, any thoughts from this whole experience today? I don't know. This is pretty cool. I I'm excited to just see what more we can come up with for ways to use this. It just seems like there's a lot of potential here, mm -hmm. um, especially when they start getting the, uh, you know, the physical thing. Did you guys get the, the space dome thing that goes over the top of it or whatever? Michael B did not do the Kickstarter. I did. I did one of the packs where I got the two cartridges just because I thought it looked more like the Simpsons, Homer Simpson car thing, which was pretty cool. <laughs> the homer <laughs> <laughs> the homer and yeah. i have some cartridges so i thought it'd be fun to have i backed my i was gonna do the the like the all in and then i backed it down to the where it has the nes super nes and then i paid extra for the third one so i could do genesis yeah but uh i i didn't need the little space dome thing i was like that's just too much like what are we afraid of the dust or something we blow in them <laughs> you don't do that q-tips <laughs> propyl alcohol <laughs> Yeah, uh, Mike Hawk Hurts ordered everything except the dome. Starting to regret also not getting the dome because it looks cute. It is cute. I want to see when somebody gets it. I want to see what it looks like because I kind of look at yeah. that and I'm like, really? Glass mm. dome. I know it was an interesting selling feature, but I, and they were saying it's really just the cost of the hardware than anything. But I think this is going to be free. That's what they say. So Mike will be the game genie. Are you sold? Are you going to be using this product in the future? Oh, well, yes. As long as they don't kick me out of the beta, I'm going to keep using this. This is great. <laughs> What's the monthly fee for the subscription? Does anybody know? I mean, we got the lifetime subscription, so I'm not really concerned, but I'm kind of curious if it's like $2 or $20. You know? I don't know. Hmm. I don't. I did not do my proper research before hosting the stream. I just asked you guys to join. But otherwise, we got the kinks worked out. We had some good experiences. I just wanted to really understand what the UI was and uh, from a lifetime experience, backer now i hope that this will continue to stay hosted right by then that's the only thing that would go away is if they decided to kick the bucket and not do anything with it but that's it's nice to just having your back pocket right like on a saturday afternoon if i want to just call somebody up um, i think that's the most appealing thing and i'm excited to work with you guys so thank you both so much for joining the stream i appreciate yeah. you guys well, I, I do have a quick question you oh, knew, yes but... you knew we were going to play multiplayer games and Sega Genesis, and you didn't put one of the Streets of Rage games on your list? Come on. Poor shame. <laughs> Poor shame. I, 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 yes, I will go sit in a corner right now and shame myself because it was going to be the third game I was going to add to my little corner here to add Streets of Rage, but um, I failed. Failed, failed, failed. Golden Axe, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I, was, uh, I was always wanting to do like more of my top five list or things because you used to do lists all the time right so do you do you have top list of multiplayer games for either console systems if you had to put what are these must multiplayer games that you would play on here balloon fight that's the only one you need balloon fight nah. i don't you know i was thinking about that the other day i'm like what games like of all the like if you had because michael b used to have like 700 nes cards right that is correct yeah and, and 
of all of those games, how many of them are actually legit like multiplayer games? Like, you know what? At, like 20? at at the point when I had seven hundred games, you know, I was like thirty five and didn't really have a lot of people coming over to play with me. So right. most of my multiplayer games I remember are from when I was kids, and like the ones that I owned and I remember playing a lot were like Narc. Narc was a fun one to play multiplayer. Double Dragon Two. TMNT 2, the arcade game, those were really the ones we wanted to play on the NES multiplayer with each other. So uh, some of those would be really good. And, I mean, like sports, when you hit the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis era, Turtles in Time, like uh, so many of those games, perfect for this. Fighting games, you know, we can finally play the street, uh, Super Nintendo version of Pit Fighter against each other. That would be a blast, right, guys? Hmm. Pit Fighter. No. Pit Fighter is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, man. All right. So, speaking of final things, I just had to redeem myself for a second. Boom! It's loading. There it is. <laughs> Being called out. I just grabbed my legally obtained uh, thing. <laughs> you very quickly legally obtained Streets of Rage. Is that what you did? <laughs> Absolutely. It's so fast, right? And enter your room. And here you are. You could be playing Streets it's of a, Rage. but It's a backup uh, copy. It is a backup copy. And here it is. So, again, it's so quick, so easy. Check it out if you guys haven't. Pie Packer is the website. I highly encourage it. I'm super impressed with the UI experience. I'm all about UI, seeing things, and it's definitely ease of use for your casual person. So, thanks, Michael B. Thank you, Jeff Rainwater Games. Check out their channels, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks, B, for inviting us. Bye bye. Bye.